back at it again, ladies and gentlemen. This is literally like two minutes after I recorded that Leipzig video because I didn't get the notification up until now. The Vancouver Canucks and the Toronto Maple Leafs, my two favorite NHL teams, have just made a trade. Michael Carsoni was sent over to Toronto from Vancouver in exchange for Josh Levo. We got two teams over here. We got a fan who's a fan of these two teams, and we got ourselves two different perspectives. I'm going to be coming at you guys with the Toronto perspective as well as the Vancouver perspective. This is a good trade for both teams, and I generally agree with that so, because as a guy who understands both teams, the makeup, and how everything works, this is a trade that works out both sides. And let's start things out here with the Vancouver Canucks. I have a primarily Vancouver-based audience, so I guess that's what you guys want to hear first. This is great because Michael Carsoni is a guy who, let's just say, was not really on the radar anywhere up until, like, earlier in this season, because playing with the Utica Comets, he's actually a beast, and Michael Carsoni is a guy who never really had any exposure to NHL clubs earlier, because he was born in 1996. He's a guy who's 22 years of age. He was signed by the Vancouver Canucks just out of nowhere, and he was undrafted, so playing with the Utica Comets these past few years, he's been pretty Decent, so-so, but in this season, this is when he really started lighting things up. 17 points in 20 games played, playing with, like, Archibald and Dolan and Tanner Kiro and Adam Gaudet. He was really good with the Utica Comets, and now he's a Toronto Maple Leaf. Now, you could say that he's 22 years old, the Vancouver Canucks gave up on a prospect or whatever, but in exchange, the Vancouver Canucks get themselves Josh Levo, who has spent a lot of time in the NHL in the past. He was born in 1993, he's 25 years of age, and Levo has a total of 84 NHL games played, wherein he got 28 points. He's not necessarily a super bona fide guaranteed point getter, but... He played 27 games with the Leafs this year, and he has himself six total points in these games. Now, Levo is not a guy with elite potential. He's not going to be a top six guaranteed guy. Six foot one, 203 pounds, right winger. As a 25 year old, he's not necessarily a skill guy here, but he is a guy who the Vancouver Canucks could use on the team. And the reason he's on Vancouver is because. The whole William Nylander thing with the Maple Leafs really did put them in a whole bunch of cap questions. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that Matthews and Marner are the next two guys to get signed on the Leafs, but that everybody else around them, there's no guarantee who's staying and who's going. Josh Levo is one of these guys. So, with this trade, the Vancouver Canucks get themselves a player who can definitely play at the NHL level. And going over to the Toronto side of things, they get themselves a player who's got some upside as a 22-year-old who's under a point per game in the AHL. I have no doubt in my mind that Michael Carsoni is going to be better in the Toronto Marlies system than he was in the Utica Comets system, just based off of the fact that the Marlies are pretty gosh darn good as well. So, overall, this is good for the Leafs because I think... This is better than what a lot of Leaf fans were trying to think about when they were thinking about a Levo trade or any idea of that. Instead of trading Levo for a late third round pick or a fourth round pick, they get themselves a 22 year old prospect who's already in the pro leagues and who's already doing well. So basically, you trade, let's say the Levo trade was for a third round pick. They traded Levo for a third, they draft a guy in the third round, he plays in college, he plays in the OHL, the CHL, then he goes to the AHL, and by the time he's 22, it's already four years down the line. So, the Leafs basically just extended their reach throughout time by trading Levo for a guy who's already in the pro leagues and who's already doing well. They don't have to go through the whole drafting, developing process with this Levo trade over here. They got rid of a guy who they didn't necessarily have a guaranteed future with for a player who very well could establish a future with him. And the Vancouver Canucks traded a young guy who was with the Utica Comets and who was doing well in exchange for a player who can play with the Canucks. So overall, it's a win-win for both sides. Ladies and gentlemen, Josh Levo has been traded for Michael Carsoni. I'm speeding through this because I have class in five minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Plus, in the Trosa sign gaming, and bye. <laughs>